start talking about how to play the kanjo. This might be the part that you've been waiting for through this whole video. Um, as was discussed earlier, this playing method and the tablature style that we've been posting on CigarBoxGuitar.com uses this style of kanjo with diatonic fretting, including this blue note here that we talked about earlier. So the, the fret numbering that we use in the tablature that I'm going to show and talk about here in a moment, it depends on this style of fretting. If you have a different style, a kanjo that doesn't have the blue note, then once you get past number six that shows up in the tablature, things aren't going to seem right. If you have chromatic fretting or no frets at all, then it'll be a lot harder to make use of this tablature. But for our standard uh, model American Kanjo Company Kanjos, that's what we're talking about here. So the first thing to that we need to talk about is how we number the different frets on the instrument or the places where you put your fingers to make different notes that make up the songs. So in the tablature, if you're hitting the open string, that will show up in our tablature as zero because you're not pushing your finger down on any fret. So this is zero. This first position here between this first fret and the nut that you push down, that would show up as a one and then it proceeds up the fretboard from there. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is our blue note, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Some models may not go all the way up to 11 frets. They might only have 9 or 10, depending on how big the can is. Some might have room for a 12th or 13th fret on there. Um, and that may affect which of the songs from our tablature you can play on a specific kanjo. Now, if you want to, once you buy one, you could actually take a Sharpie and write the numbers on here. So you could write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so that when you're holding it and looking down, you'll be able to see those numbers. Now, on one like this, you know, it has the nice reclaimed woods, has some of the old character to it. I wouldn't go drawing on that with a Sharpie, but it's your Kanjo. You can do what you want. Removable round stickers could be a good idea. You know, a little round half inch diameter uh, label that go on there that you could write the number on and then once you're more familiar with it you can peel those off you haven't done anything permanent to the instrument so that's all up to you so a word about our tablature notation style because there's only one string on these canjos there will only be one line of numbers above the words of the particular song you're looking at so there will be numbers ranging from 0 to 11 or so above the word. So if we think about a, a song like oh, When the Saints Go Marching In, it'll start off with the words, Oh, When the Saints, and above those words will be numbers. And those numbers correspond to the notes that make up the melody of that song. And those numbers correspond also to what position on the kanjo neck that you'll be playing. So for the song, Oh When the Saints Go Marching In, the first words are, Oh When the Saints, and the, the tune to that would be zero, oh, two, oh when, three for the, and four for saints. Oh when the saints, zero, two, three, four, so that's how you look at the number above the word, and there might be more than one syllable in a word. So there might be two numbers above a word or three numbers above a word. So, but those are what you're playing on the instrument to play the melody that goes along with those words. We talked earlier about the blue note, uh, this extra fret on here, and how that allows these canjos to actually play in two different keys. The, the first key, you might call it the main key of the instrument, starts with the open string. So if this is tuned to a note of D, high D, 
the, the notes that you're actually playing would be D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And I skipped that sixth fret on this one because that would have been the, the blue note or it would have been a C natural, um, which when you're playing the full scale you, or the, the whole note scale, you don't really want. The second key that this Hanjo can play in, if this string is tuned to D, would actually be the key of G. And that starts on the third fret. So it'd be G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. In that time I skipped, I used the sixth fret and skipped the seventh. So by Using one and skipping the other, depending on where you start, it allows you to play in two different keys. And because we do that, it greatly expands the number of songs that can be played on the canjo. Some of them will actually be in the key of G, and you might start on the third fret. Uh, some of them will actually be in the key of D, and you might start on the open string. Or you can start all sorts of different places. But just know that having these two here, that blue note added in expands the capabilities of the instrument. Before I play, I'm going to tune the canjo so that the string is tuned to the note of high D. Uh, you can follow along once I get there and, and use your ear to try to match it. I am using a digital chromatic tuner that tells me the exact note that the string is tuned to. And of course, we have these for sale at cbgiddy.com. It's a very handy little device to have. So my string is now tuned to high D. And if you want to play along, you should try to tune your canjo to this note. So we'll be in tune and it'll sound good together. So now I'm going to play a couple of songs on this canjo. Uh, the two songs are Camp Town Races and when the saints go marching in. Both of these can be found in the Kanjo tablature or Kanjo songbook section of the knowledge base over at cigarboxguitar.com. So the first song I'm going to do is Camp Town Races. It starts on the fourth fret, and if you pulled this tablature up on uh, cigarboxguitar.com, we're going to start with the low version first. This is one of those songs with that by having the, the blue note added in here, you can actually play it in both of the keys. You can play it in the key of D and the key of G on the same canjo. You'll just be higher up the neck on the uh, second version. So we start on the fourth fret. So that's the low version. Now the high version starts up here on the 8th fret, and it goes up to the 11th and down to the 5th, and even the 4th and 3rd, so... Technically, the first version, the low version that starts on the fourth fret, would be in the key of D, and the high version that starts up on the eighth fret would technically be in the key of G. 
but you don't really need to worry about that unless you're trying to play along with someone like a guitar player who wants to know what key you're in, uh, being able to tell them, well, this one's in D or this one's in G will let them know what chords to hit and what they need to do. But if you're just playing by yourself, you don't really need to worry about it. All right, the second song that I want to do for you is the old spiritual, When the Saints Go Marching In. Now, this is another one that is pretty easy to play on the canjo, which is why I picked it. And it's also another one that could be played in two different positions, or to be more technical about it, in two different keys on the same canjo. In the tablature on the CigarBoxGuitar.com site, uh, we have it both ways, and we have them labeled as the low version and the high version. So the low version starts with the open string, shows up as zero on the tablature. Now the high version starts on the third fret and goes up from there. So again on this song, technically the first or the low version is in the key of D, and the second or the high version is in the key of G. So that is the basics of how you follow the tablature using the numbers above the words to tell you where you are putting your fingers on the canjo neck, uh, the frets, the open string is zero, so if you see a zero in the tablature, you know that you're hitting the open string, one, two, three, four, five, six, and on up. 